What's up you sexy mofos? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be looking at a band known as Abitrator. And the title of the song we are going to be looking at from these guys is Style of Forsaken. Uh, actually, this is a song that was named after the EP Forsaken, which was just, you know, newly released. And um, I just can't really wait to check these guys out. Uh, I've heard a lot about this band uh, and I've been meaning to get these guys out on the channel. Uh, so it's an opportunity for, you know, uh, me to check out these guys. Uh, so I had to like, you know, quickly do my research on these guys and uh, realize that these guys are a two-man band. And um, the names of these guys are Sean Sparacco, who is the instrumentalist and, you know, is also in charge of the songwriting process for the band. And um, they also have um, Ryan Dennis, who is the vocalist of the band. Uh, Sean is from the US, while Ryan is from Australia. And these guys are a symphonic black and deathcore band. They were from in early 2020 during the COVID, you know, uh, beginnings. So it's really good that these guys, you know, have been able to hold their ground, you know, pouring in blood and sweat into making their debut EP, Forsaken, which is really, really cool. And I just can't wait to check it out. Uh, so guys, let's check a song from the EP, titled Forsaken. Where I wasting so much time? Out of count of three, two, one. Let's do it. Forsaken by Arbitrator, featuring its sire of Animal Farm. Official music video. Can't wait guys, come on. So fucking hyped. Mmm, nice. Oh shit. That's some fucking sick intro. Holy shit, do we have another Lorna Shaw in the making? Are you kidding me guys? Whoa. Mm. Woof. Nice, nice. Fuck. That's it, baby. My goodness, that was insane. Fuck. Holy shit. That switch was sick. Fucking sick. I like the bottom, really. I love it. Just like that fast pace drumming. Oh, yeah, that's it. This guy's got this Lorna Shaw vibe. Fucking symphonic. Come on, guys.
Just kill me already. No, no, just, just, just kill me already, guys. Oh, guys, just holy fuck. Why these guys doing this to me? How the fuck in my ear so good? This is just... This is just crazy guys, this is just pure inhumanity guys, this, this should be fucking illegal. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not even fucking over yet. Ah, Christ. This is raw talent right in front of me, guys. Holy fuck. These guys are talented as fuck. I still can't believe they're a two-man band. Are you really shitting me, guys? Wow. Oh my goodness. It's so fucking stupid. Another switch. Another fucking switch, guys. <laughs> Christ. Anyone feeling that? Underground riffs. <laughs> Holy shit, I like it. It's got these rings of Saturn feel. <sighs> Seems it's over. Oof. Wow. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Guys. That was some fucking sick shit. Holy Christ. Whew. That was it, guys. Forsaken by Arbitrator. Oh my goodness. That was a jam. Fucking sick jam. I really enjoyed this song, guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys did too. Honestly, if you did not enjoy this awesomeness, I don't know what else you can enjoy because this is fucking insane, really. Fucking sick. This is a band that, if they keep pushing themselves way even beyond their boundaries, they're going to give Ron a show a run for their money. These guys are just a doppelganger of Ron Shore. Fucking sick. Really fucking sick. Similar sound, heaviness, breakdowns on points, and the switch-ups. Oh my goodness. I fucking loved it. Very, very beautiful, non-predictable. The, the, the ambience, holy Christ. Man, that was, that, was, that was fucking sick. I really loved it. I really loved it. I love the, you know, the sound. I like the production, too. Production was lit. Um, I also want to talk about the symphonic elements, too. Like, these guys made very, very good use of it. Uh, I, really, I, really like, I really like their style, you know, symphonic black and death core which is really cool, um, a rare genre in the metal, you know, genres. And um, I like the fact that, you know, uh, so many bands lately are beginning to, you know, experiment with uh, this particular genre, symphonic black and death core, which is really beautiful, uh, you know, following the footsteps of, you know, Lorna Shore. Uh, and that's, that's, that's something that I really love because I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, you know, um, anything symphonic, um, symphonic, you know, elements, uh, you know, really gets me. And, um, this is, this is something that I really appreciate. Uh, that, that's, that's basically what I, you know, uh, noticed on the pros for the song. Uh, this, this, this is a song that really, really, you know, deserves, um, every hype that it can get. Uh, and I'm going to rate the song around 8.5, very, very beautiful song. Uh, the only thing I kind of noticed as a con was, you know, the length. Uh, it was a little bit too long. Uh, kind of like reminded me of, you know, uh, And I Return to Nothingness by Lorna Shore. 
uh, which was around six minute length or thereabouts. Uh, I think the song, yeah, it's a beautiful song, but uh, I felt the band would have, you know, done everything that, you know, they could do on that song within the, you know, uh, minutes of, you know, four to five. Uh, I rather than you know dragging it on for too long, because uh, yeah, songs that are like this beautiful, uh, when it's you know overly dragged, uh, it could kind of like you know uh, lose its pace a little, because uh, you know some of these elements can you know get repeated. My point is actually you know the the, the fact that the song was you know too long and uh, it made the you know the. The, the, the sound, you know, a little bit, you know, repetitive, like some of the elements were kind of like overused, uh, which I I think was the only thing that I, you know, noticed as a con on this particular song. But apart from that, everything was beautiful, very, very beautiful. Uh, maybe they just need to walk on the length a bit. Uh, that's, just, that's just the only thing that, you know, um, I, I kind of noticed, um, especially with, you know, uh, this, you know, genre of music that, you know, they do uh, sometimes when I don't really have a problem with lengthy songs, but uh, sometimes, especially heavy songs, when it becomes too lengthy, it can kind of like lose its base a little. Uh, so I think the only thing, the only uh, genre that can be permitted when it comes to, you know, lengthy songs are post-metal mostly and um, I think melodic death metal too can you know be permitted uh, but when it comes to like you know deathcore um, genre I think uh, especially deathcore songs when it becomes too lengthy I, I think um, uh, some of us might you know kind of have a problem with it <laughs> and um, I feel you know that's just something the band should you know kind of work on but you know apart from that beautiful song really beautiful do yourself a favor, guys. Check out these guys. I drop the links in the description as usual. Because um, I always do, you know, I like to drop, you know, every band that I, you know, react on. I like to drop the links in the description below so you can, you know, check out these bands for yourselves. And, you know, who knows, you just might be, you know, glued to, you know, some of these bands. And I think it's just a way of connecting with the bands. Uh, anyways, guys, this brings the end of today's reaction video. Thank you so much, guys. Before I run off, I'd really appreciate you taking your time out to, you know, click that subscribe button and, you know, smash the like button too, to really mean a lot to me. Um, and also comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this song. If you agree with me or not, I'd really love to read the comments below. And then if you like what I'm doing, you can also, you know, show whatever form of support you can. Uh, my informations are in the description below. You can, you know, donate a few bucks to the channel if you want. It will really help the channel grow. Um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Kind of run off now. Peace.